Monkey Biologist and Plant Expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants. And today we're here with Sierra View Honey and the owner, Robert Hickox. And um, he's going to tell us all about the life cycle of bees, um, a little bit about history about the bees, and then we're going to see all of his products and how you can actually get them. We're right now here at the Jack London Square in Oakland, California. But before we start, I just want to share this quick 30 second commercial. Check Ivy this. Organic 3 in 1 Tree Guard Paint for Fruit Trees, Ornamental Trees roses and shrubs provides protection from sunburn insects and rodents a must-have when planting your newest additions to ensure the greatest chance to a good start as well as for protecting your established trees never stop growing with iv organics visit ivorganics.com for more informative videos and a list of retailers that supply our organic you know, products. Robert and he's going to share with us um, where the queen bee is within this hive that he's brought with him. Check this out. So this is an observation hive. Um, bring it to a lot of markets. It's great for uh, education. We're able to explain to people what a beehive looks like because most people can't see inside a hive or pretty nervous about it. So we bring it here, education, along with some wax and propolis and pollen and just give an idea. Um, so if you want to look close in here, this is what a normal frame of brood looks like. And if you look right in there, there's the queen bee. She's hanging out right in there. Do you want to put your finger away? Yeah, we'll go, out. she's right there, right inside. And those bees surrounding her, those are her attendants. So they clean her, take care of her, feed her, make sure she's well fed. And inside the rest of the frame, you see all these cap cells. Those are young larvae getting ready to emerge and hatch out. And then on the corner of the frames, you can see those cap cells there look a little bit different. That's the honey that the bees have stored. So um, on average, I mean, how large is the queen bee compared to all the other bees in there? She's about 10% wider and 30% longer. So 10% wider and 30% longer, about a head longer than the rest of the bees, right? Yep. And um, in regards to the sex, like what are most of those bees? Are they so, male or female? At this time of year, they're almost all female. There's a few males left, um, but the male's only purpose is to, to mate with a virgin queen. So this time of year, most of the mating's done, most of the swarming is finished, and it's just all female worker bees out collecting nectar and pollen and oh, so for the winter. no males in there right now? There, we saw one earlier today. Um, so kind of hard to find, but... They're on their way out. They're on their way out. Yep. So what is breeding season for bees? Breeding, breeding season is generally springtime through about mid-June. Um, big swarming season, that's when you see, sometimes see a swarm of bees, a big ball of bees in the air, or a <laughs> bunch of bees about a basketball, volleyball size on a tree. Got it. Super laid back, easy going, you just scoop them up and start a new hive. And then something interesting I heard you sharing um, with the last customer was the life cycle of the female queen compared to the male workers, mm -hmm. is that right? Well, the, so the males are the drones, okay. and their purpose is just to mate with the... Exclusively to mate. Exclusively to mate. The Got it. females, are all the rest of the bees in the hive are females. Queen as well as all the workers. So the queen can live three to five years. Three to five years, that's quite a long life. It is, and the workers about six weeks. Wow, what a big difference. It is. So the workers... Workers are six weeks, so three weeks inside the hive is a nurse bee. Taking Got it. care of the hive, taking care of the queen. Um, making the actual honey, and then about three weeks out in the field collecting the nectar. That's interesting. Um, something I've always shared with a lot of my viewers are the importance of plants and how plants are the foundation of life within our gardens and within the ecosystem in general, and the importance of also having native plants. But plants won't exist without these guys, right? Do you want to explain that? Um, yeah, so bees are great pollinators, not just European honeybees, but bees, wasps, all kinds of native pollinators are great, and that's why plants have flowers is to get pollinated and reproduce. So we got to have bees, need them there. It's great to plant native flowers if you can. Um, that way, not just for honeybees, but for any pollinator. All pollinators, of course. Awesome. Well, how about if you give us a tour of some of the products that we can find and then I'll include a link on how we can shop and get the Sierra View honey products. Um, give us a tour. It. All right, so. All right, hi guys. Again, Robert Hickox with Sierra View Honey. Um, we're here at Jack London Square in the Jack of All Trades Market and just going to show you some of the products that we sell here at the market um, that you can also find online as well. Um, primarily we sell honey. It's a big seller. Um, try to get two or three different types of honey in the season um, based on the flowers and what's blooming and it gets definitely different tastes. You can see 
some over here you can see lighter and darker honey um, over there we also do make candles um, both rolled and poured candles and the, the poured candles are beeswax from our hives so how about with the color how do you the get color? the color so those are dyed beeswax okay. it's a beeswax candle that's or beeswax that's molded okay and dyed with different colors different sizes of honey different styles of bottle So I see over here, like, yep. what's so we have, this? We have creamed honey. Creamed honey is a, a crystallized honey. So also called spun honey or whipped honey. Yeah. Basically force it to crystallize with a really small crystal. It's great for peanut butter and honey sandwiches, biscuits, toast. Awesome. Um, and over here, we also make lotions and lip balms. So it's a lotion bar. It's There's no... Um, added petrochemicals to it. It's just beeswax and shea or cocoa butter. So just going in order here, I see yep. cocoa butter, lavender, orange cream, lemongrass, mango, and shea butter. So these are all like, what are the what are the ingredients that are in these products? The ingredients are just beeswax from the hives. We've got coconut oil, shea or cocoa butter, vitamin E, and then either essential oils or flavoring oils. And that's it. And then that um, that last tray, it looks like you got... Last year? Yep, we have lip balms, same ingredients. We just add some sweet almond oil in there to make it a little glossier and smoother for your lips. Awesome. So all of these natural, healthy ingredients and so many different ways to use. Exactly. We try to utilize these. everything from the from the hive. So we also sell at times we have propolis, we have pollen, um, sell bees and queens in the springtime. That's wonderful. And then how often are you here at the fair? So we're here every month. It's the second week. Second Saturday every month in Jack London Square. Excellent. And then would you mind holding up the card so yeah, definitely. buyers at other parts of this country can find you? So here we are at Sierra View Honey. Um, he's Robert Hickox as beekeeper owner. There's his email address and phone number and address. So if you have any other questions, here's Robert. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for the tour. Appreciate it. If you've enjoyed you. this educational video by Ivory Organics, be sure to like it. And most importantly, by subscribing below, you'll be connected to this and all of the other educational gardening videos as they become released. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening. Happy gardening. Thank you.